All right, well, I'm headed into, well, through town. I'm going to help a friend get some stuff moved that was knocked over by the storm. And if I get a chance, if if what I'm seeing still looks like it's in uh, much disarray, I'll uh, take some videos and do some narration about the uh, damage from the supercell that went through Lamar and Red River County. All right. So here at the fairgrounds, this tree was broke off. Looks like it may have, oh, it came from that right there. It looks like it tumbled. And then that building right there, one of the concession stand buildings was tumbled. Um, over here on this side, there's a tree down and then there's another one over there right there that was knocked down so definitely beginning to show the signs of a fair amount of damage here it looks like the uh, roof of the front part and then that one section must have been hit and damage done to it here's the back side of one of the uh, old historic buildings on the square and this section of roof right there I don't know if it came from the the top part there from over here or what but it's just sitting there now I don't know if it got lifted up from this back part or if it actually came down and over but it's like we had some damage to the electrical that they're working on and just all over the place you see this corrugated roof material there's some limbs right there that were blown down but I mean that's got that section of I'm that section of corrugated roof I'm not sure I'm not sure what it came off of I'm still having a look around looks like right there there may be a big tree down and some more corrugated roof so I'll, I don't know if I can get a shot of that or not yeah so here's the other side of it this is the old house that that was right there I'm not sure if that window was already knocked out or if that was done by the storm and there's that tree leaning over got a bunch of the corrugated roof um, looks like there's tree damage and corrugated roof pieces all up in that right up there so definitely high winds just wreaked havoc through town. And here's also on the back side of the square, and I'm not sure what these buildings here were used for, but that garage right there looks like it has the roof down in it, or that's the garage door. And on top, it looks like it's metal or aluminum or something. Um, that orange right there sticking up is actually crumpled up, like that was part of the roof that got uh, shoved and ripped and crumpled up. And that's this line right here is the historic buildings on the what would that be on the north side of the square in Clarksville Texas all right so what what I realize now is on the second to last video with that tree next to the old house this building right here which is the boys and girls club of Red River Valley it had the corrugated uh, sheet metal roofing on the metal roofing over the the roof tiles, the the shingles, and that's why I didn't realize. I think the other side, all of those, the metal roofing got ripped off, and here only half of it got ripped off. So that is quite a shame. Hopefully, that'll be repairable so that they can keep using that building so it doesn't result in worse damage. All right, here's a spot of significant damage, and man. Uh, it looks like the roof there, a good section of the roof of Allen's Lumber, actually got ripped off, knocked over a high line pole right there. Other parts of it flew right here, right between the flag poles. And it's just strewn out right there. So a lot of damage right there. Here's one of those uh, portable or, or set up your own garage canopies. That didn't used to be there and didn't come from anywhere nearby right here. That's a community center. There's a house. It would have been from the other side of that house right there at least somewhere from one of the parts of, well not over there because there's a grocery store right over there so from somewhere over there it got lifted up and blown and then dropped down here. And I bet it was, I wouldn't be surprised if it was over here in the road and then it got moved out but how it missed the power lines I don't know. All right, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but um, that that garage may have hit 
the chimney on this house. See, it's got a, a brick chimney right there. There's another one right here that has tons of brick debris on, on the roof and also brick debris on the roof right here as well. So that garage may have hit, struck the chimney and kept on coming uh, because it, it just completely knocked down that temp chimney stack. Just the very base of it is left coming out of the roof right there. If you can see it, there's a view of the bricks up on the house on the porch part of the roof. All right, so I stopped to clean up my uh, grandmother's house's yard and a gentleman pulled over and said that there's 50 mile an hour winds coming and I better button down the hatches. So that may be it right there. I, I don't know if this is round two. I mean, this is uh, March 18th, so I hope we don't have a round two. I mean, that doesn't look great, but it doesn't look as ominous as that supercell yesterday. Anyway, I'm going to start moving. I don't know if I'll put any more with this or what. We'll see. Here's the historic downtown square as a lightning storm starts to uh, brew in the background. Clarksville downtown square. Uh, I don't see any immediate severe damage. But as I showed you earlier, I know the, the tops of some of the roofs were definitely damaged. Right over there. Anyway, I'm right back there. I'm not sure what storm is about to hit, so I'm I'm heading back home right now. Okay, I made it home safe and sound. You saw on the second and the third to last parts, the clips of the video, that the lightning storm had begun there outside of Clarksville on the north side. I've made it home. The lightning hasn't really made it here yet and no high wind. So hopefully there's no supercell part two today. And hopefully we'll have maybe a little bit of rain, a little bit of lightning, but nothing serious. All right, YouTube, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me. Y'all take care, be safe. And we'll catch you again next time.